Um, I believe it's not producers not paying them, it's the whole structure being put together wrong. Okay. I will say that they do not put value on the creative arts sector here in Ghana. I believe that a lot of um, producers start a movie without a budget, and when an actor comes on set, they figure out that things that were supposed to be put in place is not put in place. And what happens is they jump from one set to another because what you're paying them is not enough. So they so have to, they have to work so many acting yes. gigs, which is a problem because you can't learn five scripts in one go because mm -hmm. you can't give the best character. You have to live the character and be the character. Sometimes the conditions of the set is ridiculous. You go sometimes, there's not even any water. Hmm. There is no food because I've acted in a few things. Exactly. So you're speaking before, so from, I, yeah, experience. from experience. It's a very big problem because when sometimes these producers think they are doing you a favor, all right? And, and at a point in time, you also think that these actors, most of them want to be in the limelight, the desperation to be, to be known or to be seen on mm. television. So they want to just grab any opportunity, whether they'll be paid or not. Mm -hmm. And 10 years later, you sit and then you recall all these things and you know that no, Charlie, it's it's a bit, a bit yeah, waiting question. So, it's a it's a big problem. But my problem is with the Film Producer Association of Ghana, the okay. FIPAC president, um, came out to say that Kofi Ajulolu should come and apologize for Seriously? saying that, mm. for saying, for, for making a general truth. statement that they don't pay the up and coming acts and all the act, uh, actors and all that. But I think it is true because if you speak to some of these actors. Mm they will tell you they don't get paid. Yeah. And I don't know why they are, they are being so hard on Kofi for, for speaking the truth.